What's going on guys, this is Riggs. We have a bunch to get into. I've had a lot of people ask, specifically in the last couple weeks, which has prompted me to make this video, and it has to do with the difference between dual ranking and versus ranking in squads. There's a lot of things similar between the two, but they could not be any more different. I'm gonna break everything down before we jump into it though. Make sure you guys sub to channel if you have not already. Make sure you drop a like too, it helps out the channel a lot. And I already know you guys are gonna light up the comment section, so I'll make sure to read each and every comment uh, that you guys drop on this video. So for those of you guys that don't know, uh, we have a couple weeks left here in season 13, and before you know it, boom, season 14 is gonna come. And a lot of people often, towards the end of the season or right at the beginning, people are gonna, they're gonna start to try and figure out what mode they want to rank in, whether it's solo, duo, or squads. We're gonna leave solos for another match. I have gotten a lot of requests. I have been conquer a couple times in solos, and we've actually featured a couple uh, solo, quote unquote, pros, uh, pro rankers on the channel, but we'll leave that for another video. So for duos or squads, you have to ask yourself a couple different questions before you can determine which one that you actually want to rank in. If your goal, if you're dead set on getting conquer in squads, there's pretty much two ways to do it. One is you get conquer in squads damn near when the season first starts because you wanna be one of the first 500 people to reach 4,200 points because once you get to 4,200, uh, it's the top 500 players in that server that are going to get conquered. That's why you see a lot of people rush. I mean, they grind their asses off to start a season uh, to where they, you know, they play 60, 70, 80 games, all good games, and then they get they get they get to 4200, they get conquered when the server refreshes, and then they just kind of just, you know, go away, if you will, and just start playing regular. They're not grinding, you know, so hard for their, you know, they're playing 80 matches in a couple of days, can you imagine? So if you're not doing that, it's going to be very, very, very difficult for you to reach Conquer in squads, mainly because it's the most popular game mode. You have the most people playing squads, plain and simple. There's no, there's no way to sugarcoat this. I mean, it's pretty black and white. The majority of people that play PUBG Mobile are playing squads. That's why when you hit that start button and you got a full squad, not, 99 times out of 100, within a second, boom, you're in a match. And that's at any time of the day. Morning, afternoon, night, doesn't matter. You're going to get into a match because there's so many people out there playing squads. And because of that, there's a lot more competition for you to be top 500. I mean, imagine how many people are playing in the Asia server or in the European server. Only 500 people are going to actively have that conquer title. There's going to be people that get conquered, like I said, early on, but once 500 people surpass them, you bump down, you drop down back to ace uh, as long as you're above 4,200 points. The good thing though about squads is, and this might be controversial for some, I'm only speaking on behalf of North America and duos. Again, this isn't necessarily a competition or anything like that but because there's so many people playing squads and there's so many matches going on at once you can often get into a quote-unquote easier lobby i've even made an entire video on this where and you guys all know all you guys playing squads out there uh this almost despite your rank you know there's probably going to be one maybe two squads at best that have a chance of being where you know okay if we take out this squad and you know it's getting sweaty if we take out this squad it's pretty much going to be a chicken dinner you're not going to be running into seven eight nine ten op squads playing squads it's it's just going to be how it is you might run into one two maybe three in your matches and once you take care of them before you know it you're panning the guy at the very very end uh and you know you could be an ace so that is a reality so as far as the difficulty the hardest thing about squads and ranking up 
especially if you're trying to get conquer, is the amount of matches you have to get played. You have to understand you're going up against people that this is all they do. All they do is like play PUBG. I mean, we're into week five, week six, and there's people that have played five, six hundred matches already, which is insane to me. So eventually playing squads, it turns into more of just who's going to be playing more matches, especially if you have an, uh, if you have an OP squad. So that the, the numbers game is absolutely huge when it comes to ranking up and, and when you're ranking up in squads. What, but, and this is all before we get into duos. But when you're playing squads, the good thing about it versus duos is you get more points. I don't know why. We have not been able to figure out, figure out the formula between duos and squads. But, I mean, there's times where you can get 10 kills in ace and you could get a plus 24 or a plus 28. Whereas in duos, that's not the case. You can get 10 kills and be in crown three, and you might get like a plus 12. Uh, so for whatever reason, the point distribution between the two, uh, squads awards you more points. That's why you have to play more games. And that's why people have so many more points. I think in the Asia server, they're already up to like 8,000 points uh, you know, for the top people in the leaderboard. That is a lot, but you are getting rewarded more. Another, so now, okay, we've been talking about squads for a while. Now I want to touch on duos real quickly. For those of you guys trying to figure out whether you want to play duos or whether you want to play squads to finish off this season and gear up. Because start raking up now so when the new season refreshes, you don't drop down so much. For duos, it's much, much different. There's not as many games being played. So what ends up happening is you have a lot of sweats. You have a lot of tryhards that are playing duos. So what ends up happening is you end up getting more sweaty people in your matches. Like there could be times where we're, we're ranking up in duos where, you know, we're crown three, crown two, you know, trying to hit ace and you could come up against seven or eight really, really good duos throughout your matches. Again, there's less matches. Sometimes you can hit that start. You can hit that start button. You might have to wait three or four or five minutes. They're trying to pull everybody together into a similar rank that you are, so you guys can all go into a lobby. But there's a lot of people that specifically rank in duos. That's like their thing. Whereas squads, everybody just kind of plays it. Whether you're casual, whether you're pro, whether you're just you know, just casually ranking squads kind of has everything encompassed in it. So uh, the, the, the big difference with duos is who your partner is going to be. I mean, that, that's the biggest thing because in squads, one or two people can kind of carry a squad more or less, or you can have one person, you know, like a, like an in-game leader, you know, IGL type thing where they're making the decisions that, you know, they're making the rotations they're kind of just carrying the squad through the match. Um, or you'll be playing with a bunch of Rams that just know absolutely nothing, but often you'll get, again, you'll get placed in the easier matches when you're playing with these types of people. In duos, it truly does matter. And I've been doing this for a very, very long time. I've gotten Conquer five, six, maybe seven times in duos. The person you're playing with in duos matters most. So if you're asking yourself the question, should I rank duos or should I rank squads? If you're deciding to rank in duos, you need to have a really good player. Somebody that wants to rank, someone that cares if they die or if they get knocked or if they lose the match. Someone who's also passionate. Someone at the same level you are, whether it's the same skill level or at least the same mindset where you guys want to rank up together. Build that synergy. Squads, people can play with randoms all day long. But in, in duos, you need to have a very, very small pool of players that think like you, that want to rank like you, that play like you, that have your back. Because the unique thing about duos, again, versus squads, comparing them, is in duos, there is no, there is no, there is no guessing. There is no, there is no mathematics as far as if you come up against another duo and somebody from your team gets knocked, there is no element of surprise. There is no, hmm, should we push now? Is there is there someone else in their team that's gonna, no, it's just you. They're, they're plain and simple. Someone gets knocked in your team, 
you're getting pushed. And vice versa, if you knock somebody in a duo, 19 times out of 20, depending on the circumstance, 19 times out of 20, that means you're pushing, which means there's only one gun going up against two, provided the team you're facing um, you know, is a duo. So there, 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 there's, there's no other way around it. There is, there is no second guessing. So if you, if you, if, if someone on your team gets knocked, bam, guaranteed push. And I got clips. I hope you guys are enjoying the gameplay um, on the on on screen for you. Cause there's a bunch of situations where I get knocked and teammate has to clutch. Where he, where Hawks gets knocked, I have to clutch. Vice versa. And that's much, much different than squads. There are instances in squads where somebody in your team can get knocked, but that doesn't always mean a guaranteed push, especially if there's three other people left up in your squad. Um, that's still three guns that are able to fight. So it really, in duos, it really comes down to synergy. If you, if, again, if you're asking yourself if you should rank in duos or not, Ask yourself if you have somebody that plays at the same time as you do, that wants to also rank with you, that's a good player as well because of how challenging and how sweaty the matches get as you rank up. Uh, and it's a grind. Duos is a grind. You do not get awarded that many points. Like I said, even double-digit kills as you're ranking through crown, you might get a plus 12. Uh, even a chicken dinner, you get plus 12 with 10 kills that can be very deflating. You know, you have to have that mindset. Again, if you can grind early on, even better. But, you know, if you're pushing into, you know, week five, week six, week seven, the points are going to continue to increase. But if you want to get conquer and you don't feel like playing five or 600 matches like you often have to in squads to get there, duos is a great way for you to reach conquer tier and not have to dump that many matches when you're playing. So if the answer is no, you don't have somebody um, to play with all the time uh, at the same time you do, don't rank duos. Just don't do it. Play with randoms. You'll just save. The last thing I want you to do is play 200 matches in duos, look up and find yourself, you know, in crown five, you know, or, or, or diamond two and you play 200 matches. That's not good. That is not going to help you. It's only going to hurt you. So, but that is the big difference. The, 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 the big difference is the synergy and just the close quarter combat situations, knowing when and when not to push in squads versus in duos where knock means you're pushing. And if you're not going to be able to wipe two people and they're pushing you, it can be very, very, very difficult, um, especially as you rank up. So hopefully this video helped you. Like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay on the background. I'm having a lot of fun playing uh, duos this season. I took a couple seasons off and I'm having a lot of fun in this grind. So yeah, let me know what you guys think uh, of the analysis between duos and squads. Uh, cannot wait to read all of your guys' comments. Like I said, remember to subscribe to the channel if you have not already, drop a like. It helps out the channel a lot. But until the next video, you guys, this has been Riggs from Riggs Games.